Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Colorado Christian Cake Shop owner exonerated by Supreme Court just got really bad news. Here we go again. I'm sure you are familiar with the Colorado Christian Cake Shop owner who just won a huge case in front of the Supreme Court this last June. Jack Phillips is the Christian baker who made history by prevailing in front of the high court after he refused to create a custom wedding cake for a gay couple on the basis of religious beliefs. Most of America celebrated with Phillips when he won the case and it provided a glimmer of hope for religious freedom once again here in the United States. At the time of Phillips' case, the Supreme Court admonished the state's attorney who was standing against the baker for religious intolerance. He allegedly made a number of comments that gave the court pause on First Amendment grounds. The Supreme Court issued a powerful rebuke to the Colorado Civil Rights Commission for its religious hostility toward Christian baker Jack Phillips. They were right to think that and it has been proven even more to be true this week as this baker just got really bad news. Phillips just filed a lawsuit in federal court late Tuesday against the Colorado Civil Rights Commission. From what I am seeing he is being set up to be taken down in a different legalistic move. This time it involves gender issues. Phillips and his attorneys from the Alliance Defending Freedom contend that the commission has revived its campaign against him following June's high court decision singling Masterpiece Cake Shop out for disparate treatment on the basis of their religious beliefs. It's like deja vu all over again. The state of Colorado is ignoring the message of the U.S. Supreme Court by continuing to single out Jack for punishment and to exhibit hostility toward his religious beliefs, said Kristen Wagoner, who is an Alliance Defending Freedom attorney that represents Phillips. Even though Jack serves all customers and simply declines to create custom cakes that express messages or celebrate events in violation of his deeply held beliefs. The government is intent on destroying him, something the Supreme Court has already told it not to do. The person allegedly behind all of this is an attorney named Autumn Scardina. She reportedly called Phillips' shop the day the decision in his favor was rendered and asked him to make a cake celebrating a gender transition. The caller asked that the cake be blue on the outside and pink on the inside. Over several months after that, Phillips received requests for cakes featuring marijuana use, sexually explicit messages, and satanic symbols. He's convinced that Scardino was the one who made all of the requests to set him up for legal action. From PJ Media To force tall a second round of litigation, ADF filed suit against the commission in federal court. Jeremy Tedesco, ADF senior counsel and vice president of U.S. Advocacy and Administration, told PJ Media his firm would preemptively file a lawsuit in federal court to try to stop what the commission is doing. We think the circumstances are uniquely aligned to do that, Tedesco explained especially since the Supreme Court ruled that the commission had treated Phillips unfairly on the basis of his religion, thus violating his right to free exercise, this follow-up round seems particularly noxious. It seems like another round of targeting him and putting him through this very difficult process simply because he wants to be faithful in his business and what he creates through his art," Tedesco said. The commission could have decided not to pursue this second case against Phillips. The ADF lawyer explained that. When a Colorado citizen thinks he or she has been discriminated against, they file a complaint with the Civil Rights Division, which then conducts an investigation and determines probable cause. When Autumn Scardina filed this complaint, Tedesco would have expected the Civil Rights Commission to reject it. After Masterpiece came down from the Supreme Court, we expected Colorado to take that into account and realize that it was a bad decision to keep targeting Jack for his religious convictions, the lawyer explained. Instead, they found probable cause. He's going to be fully investigated again. There will be hearings from an administrative law judge, Tedesco said. It's restarting the entire scenario. It's appalling, the lawyer declared. It's unconscionable that they would go after him again right on the heels of losing a case because they were openly hostile to his religious beliefs. Scardina has now filed a complaint with the Civil Rights Commission. She is alleging discrimination on the basis of gender identity. The complaint was held aside while the Supreme Court ruled in Phillips' other case. Just three weeks after Phillips won his case, the commission issued a probable cause determination, finding there was sufficient evidence to support Scardina's claim of discrimination. This sure looks as though it was all planned out this way. Colorado has renewed its war against him by embarking on another attempt to prosecute him, in direct conflict with the Supreme Court's ruling in his favor, Phillips' lawsuit states. This lawsuit is necessary to stop Colorado's continuing persecution of Phillips. The freedom of religion is sacrosanct in this nation as a First Amendment right. Weaponizing lawfare to take it apart is not only unconstitutional but unconscionable. 
I sincerely hope that Phillips prevails once more and that a more solid ruling by the Supreme Court puts an end to this form of religious bigotry. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.